What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Thank you for joining me in another Matt Perry video. Today we're at Chapel Hill Golf Course and it seems like they cleared out some trees so it looks really open and it looks really good actually. And it might be because actually we don't have as many leaves on the trees, that's probably it. But we're here at Chapel Hill Golf Course. We're gonna be playing four holes. We just got finished playing four holes and it wasn't really that great. We gotta learn from that and not make any mistakes because we made a lot of mistakes on the green. Um, you know, three putting and chipping and all that stuff. This hole we're gonna start on is the fifth hole. Um, it's 339 yards out of 349 from here. And we have a bunch of water. We have water, um, a first set of water, a pond right there, and then we have another set closer to the green. So it's gonna be a difficult hole. And uh, let's just see if we can get close to shooting par on this course. got over the water that water is like 200 to carry so that should be fine I ended up short right of the green have like 150 yards into the green so I uh, should be able to chip hopefully chipping is a lot better today That was a perfect line, perfect speed. I started second guessing myself as I got in the hole, but that's a good way to start. A par is a great way to start. Got three more holes down, and then maybe we can finish this even, but uh, it's definitely gonna be a difficult challenge with everything that was going on in that hole. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a difficult challenge. Got another par four. This one is 363 yards. We got a pond in there in the middle, but it shouldn't come into play as long as you hit your driver solid. Uh, par, great fairway shot. Let's uh, couple it up with a, a birdie chance. It looks like I got 180 yards. So again, my distance is not great. So I'm gonna take out a five iron and smack one up there. It says we have 52 yards, but it doesn't look like 52 yards to me. It's 52 yards from where I'm at right now. It's probably going to be less when I get to the ball. So I got between 10 and 15 feet for a par putt. That was the worst display of putting I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what happened there. All right, so two more holes left. Um, we just skipped the uh, seventh hole. We're now on the par four eighth hole. Uh, this is 318 yards. Yeah, 324 yards is what I have here. So we just need to get one out there in the fairway and get one close. I mean, that four putt really got me going. But, you know, whatever. That was, that was literally a, another putt for par, which should have been aggressive. And maybe I shouldn't be aggressive. I don't know. That was really good. I flirted with those trees on the right. So any one of those tree limbs could have knocked that down. But I ended up getting good distance out of it. So that ended up going the right side of the green. It looked like it had the distance even though the wind was in my face, so that's good. <laughs> uh, because of that four putt, I got so nervous over that. 
insanely nervous over that. I don't know why, and it was only two feet away. Less than two feet, actually. All right, this is the last hole, the ninth hole, and uh, I just want one birdie, man. I feel like we've had a couple of birdie chances, not during this round, but during the last round. And uh, we just need one, just one. right there in the fairway hit another fairway today all we need to do is finish the damn hole Matt it's not going long but it's going in the fairway that's probably why I'm not shooting low scores is because my distance is horrible and I'm leaving myself really really long clubs in order to get into the greens Now I have about 50 or 60 yards. I'm gonna take out a 52, give it a nice swing, not anything aggressive, just land it up there. Should have landed 60 yards right in the middle of the green and rolled up to the pin because the pin's in the back it was at 70. i really don't understand it Even though that first putt was horrendous, that was a good way to finish. You know, with that last putt, that was probably like a good, what, seven, 10 footer that I sunk. So that's good, but it still didn't end on a good note. I think we're four over after four. I believe that's what it is. Cause I had a par, a triple bogey and a par. And now we have a bogey. So we're four over after four, which is better than what we did the last time. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you guys are always aware when i post a video um, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers so i really appreciate anybody that's been subscribing um, that's already subscribed and that is liking the videos but let me get out of here guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace